Hi guys, it's Kathy. I have another wax mail. So today is Saturday. Yesterday, Friday, Randy from Super Tart opened up Dan Bag's pre-order. She's she's playing with my heart because before that, I placed a ginormous order um, on the website, the ready to ship items clamshell. But she opened up a humongous pre-order. They have prime time, the collection prime time um what is what else lord of the melts which is like lord of the rings and then wonka from the you know chocolate wonka i'm not gonna get anything from the wonka because i have enough and then i want to say like game of tart which is uh game of throne and what is the last one Twilight and I was talking in the group and a few of you ladies helped me out tremendously to narrow down my list it's still at 30 something on the list for BAM bags I need to I got a ginormous like I said I ordered a ginormous humongous order from super tart super tart has to be um, one of my favorite one I have a many almost all but yeah her brandy's wax throw wonderful in my house i have a, we i live in a condo with my kids and my husband so our place is small it's it's tiny it's quaint but it's ours nonetheless and we love it and i have a lot of warmers going on so it's hard for me to say that oh it doesn't throw because i have like i want to say 13 14 warmers going on at one time um and so it throws unless I can't smell anything like and you've seen me say I can't I didn't get anything from this so yeah unless it's like not even performing but super tart has always performed well okay so I'm gonna divide this video this haul into two parts because it's too much to do in one part and I love to talk but I've gotten complaints from my family saying that my video is way too long and I'm like okay maybe I should cut it down then this is the card, um, business card that Brandy gives with every order. Yeah, those are what her clamshells look like. That is the information. I would suggest you join the Facebook group. Um, it is wonderful because you know when she restock like clamshell, when she's gonna offer pre-order band bags. What are you? Let's get into the thing that I have in front of me, shall we? So Brandy gave me DeVille as a sample, and I know what DeVille is. I mean, it's not on here, but DeVille is Balayage and um, 2543-2. Ooh, camera, don't do that. Okay. This is what my old clamshell, so I'm going to smell this instead of open it. It's a fresh, clean scent. I love it. Like I said, I already have a clamshell of that. Cute, cute, cute. It's a heart, probably for Valentine's. Da, da, da. Okay, then I picked up uh, the Tardy Little from the Tardy Little Liars collection. I picked up Rosewood. That's that. Top is green, bottom is yellow. Um, it has Bullseyes Bitches A. Ooh, shouldn't say that, but trying to keep this channel peachy. Sorry. This is rosewood, lemon zest, musk, and orange slice. You know how I love my lemon and citrus. So pretty sure I'm going to love that. Um, I got Wicked Witch, which is cool water and green tea. I'm a big fan of tea blend. But this is weird. I think I like other tea more than this tea. Yeah. Um, this is from her Oz collection. I also got Hollywood, which is sparkling champagne, pink chiffon, orange slices, sea salt, and driftwood. I don't like fizzy poppy, fizzy ginger ale, soda kind of scent. But I don't get that from here. So I'm excited. It's kind of light on cold. Um, hopefully, maybe in a couple weeks, it's going to, you know, cure more, marinate more, and be stronger. I also got Carlisle from Twilight, which is soothing caramel, um, caramel mild blossom, caramel, 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 
blossom and sweet huckleberries. I don't know how to talk today. It is, I've been up since 5 o'clock in the morning and it is now 9 o'clock. So it's been up. Yeah. And if you can see outside, it's not snowing. It's, it's, it's very nice here in Hawaii during this time. I'm so sorry. Don't hate me. But yeah, we, got, we have very good weather here. It's like in the 60 and I'm cold because I have to wear it. But as you can see, the sun is out. It's beautiful. But we pay a hefty price to live in paradise. Ah, this is very pretty. This is so nice. This might be bam bag worthy. Like I might put this in the pre-order. I, I, I think I will. I also got um, saber tooth. Sweet saber tooth, which is cotton candy, sweet lolly, rock candy, and pink sugar. I'm not a big fan of Brandy's rock, rock candy, hard candy, or um, cotton candy. It has that artificial sour note to it that I don't like. But yeah, but at least now I know what I like and what I don't like. So yeah, I don't like her rock candy. So, but because in um, ever lasting gobstopper it has that rock candy or i believe it has that rock candy and i did not i couldn't get down with that scent and everybody was saying how they're gonna get a bam bag of it and i'm like mm, i don't like that one i got bridget jones diary which is harvest ale and shaving cream i hope the ale doesn't come out too too strong because i love sh shaving cream i love my manly scent but I, like i said i don't like the fizzy poppy ever essence smell Oh, this is good. It's like cider mill, like cider lane kind of said, like apple, uh, apple pumpkin from uh, Yankee and cider mill from Sensi. This is good. I like that. See, and that's why I don't want to like judge a description before I smell it because I don't like when I think of well, ale is like ginger ale and stuff like that. I would think of like that fizzy pop, but no, that is so good. That is so good. Modern Family, which is in the Prime Time collection, which is cucumber mint, apple slices, and lemon wedge. It's it's fresh and clean, um, but I don't think I'm going to be picking up a bam of this. I'm happy that I got the one clamshell. I'm going to try it. Mm, not a I don't think I like cucumber yeah but this is this is nice this is nice but yeah okay I also got um two of orange you feisty because I love my citrus blend like I said orange lime and lemon with a sweet birthday cake so it's like a bakery citrus and that's what I get. Like, it's a very sweet bakery citrus. Oh, I love that. Oh, it's so good. Let's move along because it's already 12 minutes. I got four things from the Burgers collection or Bob's Burger collection. Uh, I don't, I think it's a cartoon. I got Linda, which is frosted cornbread, pink sugar, and cream soda. There, that's soda. Nope, but that soda is very in the back. I don't even get the pink sugar. All I get is like that cornbread bakery scent. Not bad. I got Teddy, which is brisk evergreen, cardamom, sandalwood, and cedar. It's very, probably very manly, must, and yep, very earthy than manly, actually, because it has that um, cedar and sandalwood. I like that. Tina, grapefruit. Earthy moss, vanilla moss, and golden amber. Mm, this is this is fresh and earthy at the same time, if that makes sense. Oh, that's nice. I think it's because of the grapefruit. It has that citrus scent to it that blends really well with the moss and the moss and the golden amber. Jimmy Jr., very sexy, Victoria's Secret type, black currant, and mixed melon. It's weird. I don't know weird in a good way or weird in a bad way. But so far, very weird. 
have to melt that to let you know whether I like it or not. And then from the Once Upon a Time collection, I picked up Queen Regina, which is Lady Katrina and You Snap the Whip Lush Dupes. No clue what those two smells are, but it's interesting. I love Once Upon a Time. I love Regina. She her character is like a you you love to love her, but you love to hate her at the same times. In the first couple of seasons, she was evil and she was great playing evil. You hated her. And then later on she was nice, good. Well, she wasn't like Snow White nice. She was more like real nice, like like realistic nice. Like, you know, everybody has that demon inside them and they want to be good but the demon sometimes want to come out so that's why I love her character this is nice it's weird weird nice I have to melt it to to know whether I like it or not I also got ruby biolage blackberry jam and cotton candy frosting now I'm trying to go through brandy's candy scent and see which candy like like I said Rock candy, I don't like. Hard candy, I don't like. But what is, like, and cotton candy, I'm not a big fan of. But what is the difference between the cotton candy frosting? If anyone know, please let me know. Like, what are the different? Because I didn't like the first, the other three. See, and I kind of tend to have to smell that. Like, that sourness. I don't know. Yeah. It's okay. And then I also got um, a couple from the Fifty Shade of Grey collection um i got charlie tango which is raindrop sea salt watermelon and sandalwood the watermelon is weird in there just like it's throwing me off i don't it's very light i don't smell anything yet i gotta warm it to see how it is i got two red room i don't know why i got two but blue sugar oh there you go that's why blue sugar love spell and leather whips hmm Oh, the leather is strong in here. And the love spell. Blue sugar, I don't smell it yet. But the love spell, I can smell, I can get, I get this love spell. And I'm a big fan of love spell. And then next I got two of the hills, um, which is Beechwood, SoCal called Hollister, Rain, and Vanilla Sandalwood. Uh, I used to shop at Hollister when I was in high school. And, you know, when you walk in and you get that smell which I don't get it in here. The vanilla sandalwood in here is good. Yeah, it's a clean scent. Light though, not too strong. Very light. And then I got a single one of Logan, which is from the Lorelei collection. I'm pretty sure the Gilsmore Girl, not Lorelei, Gilsmore, Gilsmore Girl collection. This one is Black Tie, Amber, Romance, Clove, Driftwood. Oh, this is nice. It's like a sexy name. I get the hint of spice in there, but it's not overpowering. So it's nice. I like that. Mm, so nice. I like my sexy, my, my manly, sexy man, fresh type. Okay. And then I grab a bunch from the, um, what is this? The Fright Night, the scary movie collection, I want to say. Okay, I believe it's in the Fright Night collection. Yeah, so Kong, I, I think so. Kong, I got one. But Biolage and Pink Sugar. Mm, so good. Love that. So good. I got one of Invasion of the Body Snatcher. These I already melted because I got um the two of the Fright Night box, which one is the bakery one and one is the fresh and... uh herb or spa one so i melted pretty much all of i've sampled all of them and i love mostly all of them so that's why i know i'm not gonna i know i'm gonna like it invasion of the body snatcher is frosted banana cupcake sugar cookies and caramel drizzle i i don't like banana but for some weird reason i really like it in this blend like i don't get the banana i mainly get the sugar cookie and the caramel drizzle the cupcake and i get like a cake note but i don't get banana 
and maybe that's why I like it because if I get like banana I would be like nope 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 no banana children of the corn kettle corn cotton candy and Mexican fried ice cream mainly just get like a bakery cakey vanilla scent that cotton candy is not straw I, I don't get it at all in there alien apple cider and vanilla bean donut cider lane cider i mean cider mill that cider note apple love that insidious driftwood cotton candy and vertebrae The vetiver and the driftwood is very strong. It's very manly. It's very musk, very fresh. Another love. Babadook. Cola, pumpkin ice cream, and frosted cupcake. The cola scares me a little bit, but maybe it'll be okay. Yeah. I like it. Hmm. It's very bakery. I get more bakery than anything. The mist, ocean water, storm rains, and rosemary mint. This one is okay. I guess because of the mint in there and the, the storm rain or whatever. But this would probably be good in the bathroom. Like a good bathroom, laundry room scent. Paranormal mahogany teak wood. One of my favorite from um, BBW candles. Uh, Sequim berries. I don't know what a sequim berries are and sweet tobacco leaves. So I'm thinking it's more masculine in here. Yes. Oh, I like this scent. Oh, that smells good. Very good, very good. Okay, grudge, which is blueberry muffin, vanilla bean, pot, pot, pod, sandalwood, and fall leaves. Oh, that's nice. That's says, yeah, bakery. Oh, you see how cute is that? There's a there's an eyeball on that. Cute. Okay, and then I also got Blair Witch, which is um fall leaves, lemon, marshmallow cream, and a hint of caramel, salted caramel. Hmm, it's interesting. I pick up the I get the lemon, I get the fall leaves, I get. Yeah, it's really it's a really interesting smell. Like it's bakery and mm, fresh and lemony at the same time. Love that. Elm Street pumpkin creme brulee, toasted marshmallow and sweet cornbread. Uh another bakery bready pumpkiny scent. Yes. Love the wax. Do not watch the movie. I am a chicken when it comes to scary movie. And then the rest of these um, I have are from the Jaws collection because I love Jaws blends. Yes, I do. Okay, so I got... Let me go over the one that I... Okay, yes, here we go. I got one of Chomper, which is... Uh, jaw is sea salt, fresh air, seagrass, like sliced plum, and sweet pear. So whenever you hear me say jaw, that's that the blend. So this is red mac apple and jaw. So it's apple and jaw. Mm, the jaw is really strong. I don't get any apple from that at all. I got two eaten alive, two, which is pomegranate and jaws. I'm learning that I don't like pomegranate, so I have to be careful with that. But I'm thinking maybe jaws is good. So mm, it's nice, actually. The pomegranate lends it like a little sweetness to it. I like that. Blown up. Lemon curd and jaws. Love lemon curds. Oh my god, I'm spilling wax all over myself. Oh, and here. Gross. Oh, that smells good. Delish, delish. Mo I think most of this is going to go into like um, my bathroom, so... That would be fine. Two quince harpoon, which is orange slices and jaws. Another citrus and jaws. Ooh, I like this better than blown up, actually. I like the lemon, I mean the orange. 
because it's a little bit sweeter than the lemon curd. So this one I like a little bit better than the other one. Skinny dipping, two. Passion fruit and jaws. It's okay. It's like the, um, the pomegranate one. It's very similar to that. You know, it's very similar. All the jaw blends are very similar, actually. Yeah. Does anyone else get that? Or is it just me? Or maybe because I'm just smelling it so much that. I'm... And then great white, which is crisp white tea and jaws. Maybe this will be different. It is different. This one is very different from the other fruity one. But it's light though. Oh. See, I love tea. I love tea blend. Maybe not the green tea one. Because the green tea one was weird to me. But white tea, chamomile tea. Those teas are good teas. Amity Island welcomes you. Which is rosemary, mint, and jaws. Here's that mint again. It's minty. The mint is not very strong. I mostly get the jaw blend. It's a little bit different, but the same, if that makes sense. So that is my first half, first part of the great, um, the massive haul that I got. I'll see you in a minute um, for the next, next one. Yeah, don't judge. Please don't judge me. But until next time, bye guys. See ya.